What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a picture from Saul 509. Thank you to Dean for sending this over. He had sent over the last one with that real ornate looking. And the more and more I looked at the last one, if you go back to my last videos and take a look at it, it said an ornate statue or ruin. It looked more and more like a birdbath bottom that I see around here. I just saw one as I was driving back. It made me think of it, but... Tell me this doesn't look like, uh, he thought it looked like two feet or something, the bottom of a statue, a base of something. Um, there's an awful lot, it almost looks like a machine that's been withered down to nothing. There's an awful lot of symmetry in it down here, especially when you really take a look at it here. What I want to do is, like I used to do, I show you where I get it from. Here's the picture right here. Let me push back once. And you can see it here. It's from Saul 509. Um, and it's the, uh, it basically, I marked this down. If you go to the description, you're used to my videos, I always have a link to the picture. That's one thing I always do here. You're always going to find a link to the picture. I'm not just going to leave you hanging with some music, some crazy stuff. So let's go take a look at this. Uh, I looked around the picture a little bit more. I didn't see too much. There was a couple things up here I was looking at that looked off. But I tell you, th these really do look interesting, whatever they are. They look like bases to something or, you know possibly foundations but they do seem to be beveled and what's odd is how it's done and rounded off on this way here and it's almost rounded off here on each piece like there's uh like they it's just crazy so i mean this is one of the ones that i look at this and i'm like wow this is pretty cool this doesn't look like weathering anyway this looks like the, a machine or something that's there especially when we get into down here so let me hit auto color just to give us that look like kind of photoshop goes into it and it kind of makes it look more like it's here on earth and it brings things out more and what it, i'm looking to bring out is this stuff right in here look how patterned this stuff is it almost looks like a modern day circuit board let me see if i can adjust this with uh some gamma bring it back there's also something sitting on here that's hard to see with the way that they flush it out um perfect lines let's see what we get here there's some gamma to it that might just be what we do is add a little bit of gamma, even drop that just a little bit more. Because when you add the the exposure to it, you kind of get the uh, kind of bleeds everything out. Because that's how they kind of bleed these things together. And then back here is very interesting as well. So let's see. I've got the file. It's been pretty big here in Photoshop. I've also got this this software that I do to do the camera. It takes a lot of stuff up, but. So let's take a look here. This is pretty cool. So this isn't image artifacts. This is in the actual picture. So at the end here, we've got what looks to be a, uh, a rounded piece on the end. It almost looks like this would be a tie-off or something. Um, over here, you've got the same type of, you know, it's almost, look at that right here. It's like a, this this little colored. Now, the pink you're getting, see how it's just kind of in everywhere? They kind of throw these pictures off with the color so these little pink thing that's not actually pink that's just the most likely the color the rock whatever that color is um, and we still have these real kind of patternized things on the top of this one so i'm gonna call this the two feet but let's really take a look at this right here because this is what interests me the most about this picture um, this up here looks like jpeg artifacts see here we've got one two three straight lines like that jpeg artifacts don't run you know with the size see how this like these are actually sitting on this angle here these all run with the angle so this isn't jpeg artifacts jpeg artifacts go up and down look at this stuff i mean this is pretty pretty impressive this the lines here when we're gonna watch something sticking straight up it goes out it takes a, it takes a 90 degree turn takes another 90 degree turn and in that is boxed out another piece you've got this circle hook here that has two crosses on it um, and it goes into a bigger thing that's what this almost looks like a modern day circuit board perfect but made out of this huge piece of who knows what kind of type of stuff this is this could have been metal at one time for all we know and it's the way they color the picture the way everything's oxidized maybe um, but this is a perfect circle there it looks like it's got something on the top. And look how this comes down to a 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Then it even comes off and it goes into here. Here you've got this running exactly parallel with this. And it comes up and it, it just kind of 
goes right back in with this right here, this whole circle piece. Look at that. What are the odds of nature doing that? This is, you know, this is one of the ones that I'm saying, no way. You know, this is a great find, Dean. This is found by Dean. He sent this over. He's one of my new guys sending me stuff. And, uh, you got to agree, this is a great eye. This might have been found already. I'm not 100% sure out there. But, the uh, like I said, these are JPEG artifacts. These are the artifacts of the picture for people that don't understand that. They're embedded from the actual graininess of the picture um, and when it gets blown up and down but this right here these things are not these are built into the picture and it almost looks like this right here has been uh see how they they put the lines in here it's like they've got a filter that they hit and it just automatically throws these long lines in it see they got one here they got one here they got one here and they run it across with these colors and it tricks the eye into thinking oh that's just a bunch of blob of stuff but the more and more you look at that, and look at this comes off here, and it, it's kind of got two pieces to it. It's kind of parallel. Um, let's look at the top of it here. Let me back it out a little bit. And you can really see it here when you back it out, just the uh, the spins and the circle up there. Look at that perfect square over here. Another one right here. How these come down. This comes down here. It comes in it. It's just pretty amazing. Another 90 degree angle all the way up. This is like a circle here. It comes down. Too cool. And it, and the odds of this just being like that, it, I can't see it happening. Over here, you've got it just perfectly rounded up. It comes up here and it comes around. It looks like it's been cut. Comes back and just kind of you know comes down through. Now this right here, check this out. This is like an overhang. This definitely looks like it was some sort of metal or something at one time. Um, it's just been, what if it's been up there for millions of years, just sitting there taking the weather storms? Um, you know, we already know that there's weather on Mars and stuff like that. They've had rain at some areas of it. We know there's standing water. If you want to look at through my videos, type in, go to my, go to my page and search my videos for trees, search for water. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It's been, you know, we know that there's weather there. We know that there's sandstorms. Uh, but would sandstorms cut out things like this? I don't think so. No, this is the work of ingenuity. This is somebody who worked on this. 90 degree angle right there. This piece just thrown about. It looks like the planet was destroyed. If you watch my videos, I say it time and time again. Whatever happened to it, I don't know what happened to Mars, but whatever it was, was violent. And it either washed a lot of stuff away or it took some of this stuff and I don't think some of the, this some of the stuff on the surface could have been nowhere near each other but this is after the cataclysm where it ended up uh, it was a great spot to send the rover and I'm telling you NASA sent it there for a reason you don't just send stuff out for no reason look at this this looks like a statue just standing up there it's got arms on it it's got legs it's got a base to it and this is up in the air because look at the shadow it's it's putting out all these little things all look to be worked very interesting picture here what a place to be I would not be surprised if the rover had problems soon check this stuff out now see here's some this is see how the image this almost looks like it's been blurred out here okay see how it's just kind of uh, blotched through it's just real what do I say matte finish to it and you've got some of the image artifacts in it, but this stuff is not image artifacts. Look at this. It comes across and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This coming down and over to a circle, to another circle, to another circle. And then this right here is too pretty. This is pretty cool. Let me do this. Let me uh, let me step backwards, get it back to where there is. And then let's do this. See if we can't just play with this piece and see what we can pull out image um, adjustments let's do let's just do brightness and the contrast see what we can do so, the contrast I'm trying to pull this out because that to me looks like it's been carved or something wow look how you can do the go full on with the contrast and the picture doesn't fade it looks like so many filters have been run on these since we get them before they actually come to us but with that there you guys see that it almost looks like here's the top of it it's a little bit higher than the others uh, very interesting piece just kind of randomly sitting there I'm gonna step forward I, I kind of liked it better when how I had it well let's see let's put a little bit more of the uh, the exposure let's put a little bit more of the gamma on 
For some reason, I think it looks a little better like that. And let's turn the exposure. Just give it a little bit. And offset doesn't offset doesn't seem to help my cause much, does it? I'll brighten it down just a little bit. All right, let that run. And look how this land is. Almost looks like either twigs or something have been here. Uh, and I say that because when I go out and I take pictures and I try and like re remake these landscapes from just things on Earth. And when you get this real uh, just fine sand stuff like that where you got it, a lot of times it's like roughage and stuff that I just make turn browns. That's why I say that. I really don't think it's twigs. But look at the... Uh, the symmetry of these things on the ground here, perfect symmetry. I love to see what these actually look like without the little blur effect that's on these pictures. Um, very interesting. Look at this right here. This is like a perfect rod or something. And it's even got on the end where the end looks like it could screw on. You know, you've seen that before, like in a flashlight or something. Say, <laughs> say what else it looks like. <laughs> But tell me, tell me you don't see that. It's a perfectly spare, or it's perfectly rounded, cylindrical, and at the end, you can see it's got like a bevel on it. It almost looks like you screw something on or off. It might just be uh, matricing, but you look at this stuff over and over, and it's like, no way. Too much going on on these pictures to uh, think otherwise, I'd imagine. Some people come here and say, oh, just rocks, but I've, got, I've gotten used to that. I really don't even respond to them anymore. If somebody come here with ignorant stuff, I just delete it banned from channel. I could care less what you think. You know, if you want to come here and have an intelligent argument, I love that. Come here and say, oh, that's not that, or this is definitely, you know, something else. I've seen go to this place on Earth. You'll see it. That's the kind of stuff I love. I love intelligent back and forth. You know, I see what I see, you see what you see. Um, look at this stuff. Tell me this just doesn't look like, like old Terry says, Uncle Jake's junkyard. What a picture. This was a pr Look at these up here. Hopefully your screen's big enough to see this, but uh, does nature cut out blocks like this? It's perfect blocks. Look, this is a block, and it even comes down on an angle, a perfect angle. It cuts into this at 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then this up here going up is a little bit wider, more like 110, and this goes straight out at 90, and this adds back up, and look, it loops over here. What in the world? Let me see. Just stop it there. Let you let you take a look at this. Let me step back for a second. There's a lot in that. Statues, something. The, some of this stuff used to be on top. <laughs> I'm thinking these things were statues, something. Look at this random color here. This almost looks like the skull of something. And your eyes can do that. Get your you get you know pulled into thinking everything's a face. A lot of times I do that more of that what seems to be long cylindrical rods or something and then this right here like i said this definitely doesn't look like anything almost looks like a helmet to something or it looks like a helmet that would fit on something like that big are we looking at a wreck of some sort too cool this looks to be perfect out there and some of these rocks are just you know they're the you know, I know it's it's the the layers upon layers how that happened, but when you see stuff like this, this just looks carved up here, and then when you get into it, it looks just too much there. Now this seems to be on top of it. At first, I thought that might have been carved down in. It almost looks on top of it. it looks like a huge slug or something. But look at that. It seems like that eyeball. And then you can see the little cuts in that. I, those are JPEG artifacts cutting this piece here in the PC. I was doing the same thing there. So the, I think that's just one long cylindrical piece that's not cut. And then it's got that. So anyways, guys, what do you guys think? I'm floored on this one. Thank you, Dean. You guys keep sending your stuff. I promise you I will get to it as soon as I can. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Peace.